Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on your Android device. Now the only requirement is that you have at least 40 GB of free space on your phone and we can begin the installation. So first let's open our browser. Now I'm going to provide this link in the video description and then from here we can head to download Temux. Now scroll down and download Temux APK from GitHub right here. Next, we have to download NetHunter Store. Now, NetHunter Store is going to help us download NetHunter Kex. So, let's search for NetHunter Store. Now, click on the link to NetHunter Store. Now, to access the download button, you have to switch to landscape mode on your phone. That's just a bug on the website. And from here, you can download the store app. So here we go, we have a um, NetHunter Store and Temox APK. Now let's install NetHunter Store. Install. And let's also install Temox. Done. So here we go. We have NetHunter Store and we also have Temox. Now let's open NetHunter Store. Now search for Kex. And then let's install NetHunter Kex. If you get this prompt, just go to your settings and allow from this source. Now we can install. more details and then install anyway and head back to our home page and here we have NetHunter Kex so this is all you need NetHunter Kex, Temox and NetHunter Store now let's open Temox and then type in the first command Temox Setup Storage now type it exactly as seen on the screen. Hit enter. Now we are going to give access to Temox so it can access our files. Next we are going to change the repository by running temox-change-repo. Now select main repository and then select mirrors by Albatross. This is the repo we are using. Continue. Now this is going to update some packages. Next, we are going to run pkg update and pkg upgrade. So just type it exactly as seen. Hit enter. Now, if it shows any prompt like this, simply enter Y for yes and hit enter. All the packages have been updated. Now let's install wget by typing in the command pkg install wget y. Now wget is what we're going to use to run the installation to grab the files we need. And then now let's head back to our browser. Head back to the post on my blog eTechBox. So if you scroll down, you're going to see a section to install Kali NetHunter. There are three different versions, the full version, minimal and nano. So the full version is the complete version which is what we want for this installation. But you can go with the minima or nano depending on what you want. But for this video we are going with the full version. So let's copy the script for the full version right there. The script for every other version is available as well. So copy and then head back to Temox. Now let's hold and then paste. Hit enter. And it should grab the file we need to install Kali Linux. So you can see the file right there, install NetHunter full. Now type in ls and hit enter. And that is the file. Now we have to make this file executable. So to do that, we have to type in the command chmod plus x and then the name of our file. This is going to make the file executable and we can run it to install Kali Linux. 
now if you type in ls again you can see the file color has changed to green it is now executable now to run this file just type in dot slash and then the file name install dash nethunter dash foo and then hit enter and it should start downloading kali linux for our android phone now this is going to take a while it may take 30 minutes or less or sometimes even more it all depends on your network speed in my case this is going to take around 14 15 minutes so you just have to wait this video is sponsored by remote jobs hive Remote Jobs Hive is a curated job platform that connects top professionals with companies seeking remote workers across all departments and countries. Visit remotejobshive.com and sign up for free. From here, you can search for remote jobs based on your skills and apply. You can also enable job notifications to be among the first to get notified whenever there is a new job that matches your skills. There are many other great features that can assist your job search. Visit remotejobshive.com today to explore. Now back to the video. Download complete. Now after downloading, it will extract the root fs file it downloaded. And then we can proceed with running Kali. So now type in Y to delete root fs after making use of it. And we are done. Now we need to set a password for Kali Linux. So type in nethunter kex passwd hit enter now put in a password now you wouldn't really see the password as you're typing it but it is recording next and then verify the password as well continue we are going to set a view only password yes and then type in a password for view only password as well I'm just going to use the same password and then verify that as well and that's all now to run kali linux just type in nethunter kex and and then hit enter and it should start up vnc so you can see we now have rofb port number which is 5901 it should be the same in your case so take note of your port number now we can open nethunter kex allow and then you can see the port number 5900 change that to 5901 or whatever you saw there and then type in your vnc password which we set earlier so just type in the vnc password we set about a minute ago and then connect and that's all basically so this is how to install kali linux on your android phone from here we can access the file explorer and then basically do whatever you want to do here you also have full access to all the tools kali comes with so you can see database defense evasion and all other categories you can use all of these whichever way you plan to use it there is also an option to switch impute mode so you can switch to whichever you prefer if you don't like the mouse moving around one last thing to stop kali linux from running close this and head back to Termox. Now type in nethunter kex stop and this is going to exit the process and shut down Kali Linux. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Like, subscribe and share this video to anyone you think might need it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.